Okay, we're back. I've been talking to you about Ronda Rousey and how Ronda, uh, through biblical principles, biblical teachings, got pulled out of that uh, suicidal funk. Just a desire to have babies and to, and, and to be with her man. <laughs> As she said it on the Ellen DeGeneres show. But listen, Ronda Rousey, I, I want to stay in the ring. I'm moving from the octagon, though to the squared sucker, circle, the boxing ring. Manny Pacquiao, bad boy Pacquiao, with that, with that tremendous uh, boxing career, Manny makes the news. Manny Pacquiao is being dropped by Nike for making a common sense observation for saying something that you can't argue with that is also in line with scripture. <laughs> well, it's amazing when you watch the world through the lenses of the scripture. The, the Bible is everywhere. And uh, Nike, this big athletic apparel giant, um, who, by the way, you better keep their eye on Under Armour, drops Pacquiao because Pacquiao, of all things now, violates the moral clause <laughs> of, of Nike. It's, it's, it, listen, if, it, it would be laughable if it wasn't so serious. Now what Pacquiao says, Gary, would you give me what Pacquiao says? I'm going to read to you Pacquiao's uh, 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 comments. He said this, have you seen any animals having male-to-male -male or female-to-female -female relations? Pacquiao said, if you have male-to-male -male or female-to-female -female relationships, then you are worse than animals. Pacquiao apologized on Twitter uh, within hours. So he, 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 gets, he, he apologizes, but he still gets fired. I'm sorry for hurting people by comparing homosexuals to animals, Pacquiao tweeted. Please forgive me for, uh, for those I hurt. Then he says, God bless. Bam! Nike pulls out, drops him. And Nike says that we are against any um, discrimination of any kind, which intellectually on its face is not true because Nike, you just discriminated by firing Pacquiao. You, 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 you just went against your own moral clause because doesn't Pacquiao have a right to his own thoughts and his beliefs? And uh, I was watching on one of the uh, ESPN shows owned by Disney and they talked about how he made disparaging comments, hurtful comments, demeaning comments about homosexuals when what the man said is true. Dogs, male dogs, when the female dog goes in heat, she has to make the first move. She has to release the scent. Man, it drives that male dog crazy. He'll, look, he'll get hit by a car. He'll get killed. He's almost like the male man. He'll get his head knocked off chasing that female. <laughs> Gary's laughing. Chasing that female in heat. It's true in the animal kingdom, and you know it's true. Even, even the, the, the Bible is replete with the male-female construct. Even with uh, Moses, uh, not Moses, Noah, getting all the animals on the ark, God said, you know, so that the, the, the animal, the, 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 their line can continue, so that the human race can continue, so we can keep having giraffes, elephants, crocodiles, you know, uh, all of them. Get a male and get a female, you know, because without male-female construct, it won't last, you know. Homosexualism depends upon heterosexualism for its existence. Heterosexualism doesn't need homosexualism to exist at all. That's true. Give, get me three little islands. On one island, put two men. Island number one. Island number two, two women. Island number three, a man and a woman. And, and on both islands, give them 
everything, all the food and water and substance and everything they need to survive and uh, come back in a hundred years. Island number one, empty, uninhabited, nothing. Island number two, empty, uninhabited, nobody's there. The wind is blowing. The yards aren't manicured. The grass isn't cut. No human life. Island number three. Children playing. Homes being built. Laughter in the streets. Church songs being sang. And let's be fair, someone else over in the corner saying, Party! The point is, you'll find people, you'll find life, because that's the way the God of the Bible designed it. Now, let's see if Pacquiao was just horrible when he made the comparison. Because how dare you put homosexuality and bestiality and the behavior of animals in the same senses. Now, never mind, never mind in a country where we have people starving, every day they run commercials about, you know, feeding animals. Uh, I think Amazing Grace, um, How Sweet the Sound is the soundtrack. I think it's Amazing Grace to one of the uh, animal commercials. I mean, I mean, they tug at your heartstring uh, about these animals, and and, and whatever you do, uh, ask Michael Vick. You better not let let two dogs fight. Which, by the way, in other countries, dog fighting is you know it's, it's you know look, dog fighting was considered by the arrest the aristocrats to be uh, a uh, honorable thing. And do you see how? America just, oh man, they, they put the man in jail and, and even after, he, after he, 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 he pulled his time, paid his debt to society, there were still people protesting that the man shouldn't be allowed to earn a living. PETA, the people for the ethical treatment of animals, have had women afraid to wear minks to put animal byproducts on. I mean, animals. We, we, we hear people talk, talk all the time about how important how smart the animals are and, and, uh, and how, how wise the dolphin is and, and, and what we can learn from animals, you know. But uh, I'll tell you this, I'll buy into that when I see an animal build a hospital or build a shopping center or build a university or, 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 or build a, a train or a car or something like that, you know. God gave man dominion. Man, humans have dominion. Uh, over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, the birds of the nest. But at the same time, people should be, check this out, humane in their treatment of animals. People shouldn't be animalis animalistic in their treatment of animals. People shouldn't be, shouldn't be like beasts in their treatment of animals because if we treat animals like in a beast manner, if we, if we go beast mode on animals, if we, oh my God, uh, go ape in, 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 on animals, that means we're being mean to them. We're being brutal. So to treat them right, they gotta be humane. That's because God made humans on a much higher level. But Pacquiao here compares homosexuality to bestiality. And he says we can learn a lot from the animals. And, and you, basically that's what you say. We can learn from the animals. We can learn from them. Well, Pacquiao learned <laughs> that uh, the male is supposed to be with the female. That's what Pacquiao learned from the animal kingdom, right? And Pacquiao learned that the female is supposed to have sex with the male. That's what and, and his sin, his crime, was he had, he had the nerve to say it. Now, we all know that what Pacquiao said is true. We, you know it's true. But oh Nike, uh, politically correct Nike, and by the way, it is impossible for me, yours truly, to boycott Nike because I buy nothing 
with the swish. Uh, there's another brand that I just like better. It had nothing to do with this. I just, and I'm not going to name that brand <laughs> because I might get them in trouble and they, you know, they may, they may think the way Nike does. I don't know. But Pacquiao is not the first to um, mention homosexuality and bestiality and the behavior of animals and the sexual behavior of human beings in the same sentence. <laughs> Moses did it. Years and years ago, decades ago, Moses, God does. God did it. <laughs> Matter of fact, there's a lady in, in Raleigh. She works for the newspapers in Raleigh. I won't name the paper. But she interviewed me one time. And, and by the way, this particular reporter, she won't even speak to me now. Matter of fact, she did a story not long ago and she had three uh, people uh, on the on the picture I, I was in the picture with two other men and she gives their names <laughs> and uh, and I'm the biggest guy on on the picture it wasn't race you know anything like that because it was just two black people and, and one white and she mentions the other two she doesn't even reference me you know a little journalistic integrity going on there but you know and when she sees me I've seen her at various events uh, not only will she not interview me she won't speak to me Oh, my feelings are hurt. But the reason she does this is that one day she came and she did a story on me. And I made, I did a Pacquiao. I, I did a Pacquiao. I'll be honest. I did a Pacquiao. I, I, I made some comments about uh, lesbianism and homosexuality. And I had the nerve to make those comments in the context of uh, bestiality. And she said to me, with her very, very, very articulate, well-spoken tone, she's a beautiful lady, um, um, she said to me, well-educated, to be honest with you, I like her, I think she's all right. She don't like me, she won't even speak to me, but it's all right. She said, surely you are not comparing homosexuality and lesbianism to bestiality. And I said to her in my seldom politically correct manner, always polite, or I try to be, but seldom politically correct. I said, I am uh, in the, to the extent that God did and that the Bible does. She said, the Bible mentions homosexuality and bestiality together and I said sure and then she did something that no reporter has ever asked of me and I've been uh, I've been uh, in, in the news and I've done interviews uh, quite a few times and um, uh, she said could you show me that in the Bible I guess she thought that I couldn't find it I said sure so I got my old trusted Bible here. As a matter of fact, it was this particular Bible. And I turned in the Bible to the book of Leviticus. I turned to chapter 18 and I read verse 22 and verse 23 to her. And, uh, and, and verse 24 I may have went on down to 25, I don't know. But here's what I read to her. And you determine whether or not this is in the same paragraph if these two passages go together. Leviticus 18 and 22 says, Thou shall not lie with mankind as with womankind. Now, any way you interpret this, any way you, because people say, you know, people interpret the Bible different ways. The Bible means different things to different people. Tell me another way you can interpret this. Give me another way. In a moral clause, he's certainly not talking about 
going to bed and going to sleep. Two little brothers laying in the bed together, going to sleep. It's clear that he's talking about sexual activity. He says, thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. And the next clause in the verse says, it is an abomination. So here is Moses, which by the way, none of the religions of the world at the time, none of the religions that existed before Moses wrote this, said this. This was one of the shots heard around the world. This is one of the things that distinguished Judaism. It distinguished Judaism, the religion on which Christianity, the forerunner of Christianity, it distinguished it from the rest of the world. It was a shot heard around the world. Hey, ladies, it elevated the value of women. It was one of the things that caused that rethink uh, the view of women with men. It, it, it shows how wonderful, ladies, you are. Moses said, by the mighty hand of God, and it was God speaking through him. Moses was not being uh, a, a chauvinist. It was the God of the Bible, blessing women. It says, thou shalt not lay with mankind as with womankind, for it is an abomination. Now that's verse 22. The very next verse, verse 23 Neither shall thou lie, neither shall thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down thereto. It is confusion. Now here's what God knew. Long before we had the medical advances that we have today, God knew it, Moses knew it, that the male spermatodes or the female egg doesn't germinate with the spermatodes or the egg of an animal. So here we have, here we have, in the same sentence, same paragraph, one verse after the other, homosexuality being denounced, and then the next ality that is announced, denounced is bestiality, right here in the word of the Lord. So God here does a Pacquiao before Pacquiao, Pacquiao's the world. It's in the Bible. And if you study all oh, the book of Genesis and you read and you study what happens after the flood, you see the clear male, female construct of scripture so that the uh, human race and the animal kingdom can continue. The Lord said to Noah, chapter 7, Genesis, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens. Look at this. Male and his female. And of beasts that are not clean, by two, male and his female. And as you study, you see this male and female. And they went, verse 16, they went in, went in male and female of all flesh that God had commanded him. And, and, and the Lord shut him in. Male and female. And as you study, you see it over and over. Male and female. Why? Because the male animals, the male animals know by nature that you have sexual relations with the female. And the female knows by nature that you have sex, they have sexual relations with the male. Otherwise, all those animals that Moses, that, 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 that Adam named, none of them would have survived had God not told Noah to bring them into the ark 
male and female. So Pacquiao, you're loaded, buddy. You got plenty of money. I don't know Manny. I don't know anything about him. Seems like a nice guy. Uh, from what I hear, uh, I think I'm right. Uh, he's a praying man, a Christian man. I know he's had a wonderful fighting c career. Um, um, uh, uh, he, he, he was defeated by uh, uh, Money Mayweather. Um, but I tell you, I I'll be honest with you. And I guess Nike will never endorse me. I agree with Pacquiao. So does the word of God. Now the Bible says this. What say you?